Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I bring you another accessory review and this is of the Samsung Level Over headphones. Now, Samsung has recently entered the headphone market and this is their high end. Uh, these headphones go for um, a interesting price of $350 and today we're really here to find out if it's worth that price. Now, obviously, very different design compared to uh, most competitors out in the market. Uh, these are really nice looking and very big. They make the studios uh, for Beats look small. So very big in their size, uh, definitely when it comes to just how grand they look. Uh, but the noise cancellation is just the best I have ever seen on any headphones to date. You can't hear anything when you have the noise cancellation on, which is a little button right here. Very quick and easy to access. You do hold it down to pair the Bluetooth, and of course the on or off button is right here. You also have a micro USB to charge it, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to plug it into things that do not have Bluetooth capabilities. Now, it does extend right here at the top, very nice and simple, and it does have NFC pairing, although once the sticker is gone, you kind of just have to remember that the left has NFC pairing, and the right has the most unique feature about these headphones, and that is that this is all touch-based. So what does that mean? That means if you double tap it, it will play the song. If you go down, it will lower the volume, and if you go up, it will raise the volume. If you swipe, it will go to the next track, and if you go back, it will go back to the track before. So really nice and simple. You even have a holding feature that will allow you to launch S-Voice if you have that enabled, but I disabled it on mine. Now, of course these can work with any device, but Samsung has added a app for their own devices. So if you pair a Samsung to the Samsung level headphones, from the Galaxy App Store, you can get this very nice app, which is called the Level app. So with the Samsung Level app, you actually get the battery life of your headphones, which is of course really nice. In settings, you can activate noise cancellation from here and enable S-Voice if you want. You can also have enable uh, voice, um, voice to text, sorry, text to speech. Uh, so if you have a text message available, it'll put it there and also your schedule will put it there as well. Um, you can reset all the settings and the nicest part is you can actually customize it to your sound quality. So, uh, if you are an advanced user, you can actually put it to your heart's desire. And if you're a basic user like me, I like vocal and bass, so I'll generally be around this vicinity. And then once you check it off, it does apply that sound quality. So, what do I think of these? Well, let's go to one additional feature first, and that is battery life. Battery life's about a week in all my usage. Uh, for all my daily activity, which is making this phone, making phone calls with this device, as well as, of course, listening to uh, not only music, but really more so YouTube videos. I generally watch at least about half an hour of YouTube videos on this. But even on a week when my girlfriend uh, was, a was wearing these all the way back home, it was still great from Lake Tahoe, after five hours of playback, after I'd already been using them, I still got a week of battery life with these. So battery life is just amazing, just really amazing. Sound quality. How is the sound quality? These blow the Beats Studios away completely. It's just, it's no competition. There's no noise canceling comparison, and it's just really clear, really clear. Not only that, but it has three microphones for just really, really superb noise cancellation for when people call you and they can hear you very, very clearly. I've never had any 
uh, issues when talking with these um, for people being able to hear me. So really good when it comes to those. Now, ultimately, with that, are they the best headphones that money can buy? Well, the only ones I haven't put them up against are the Bose Q15s. So I haven't put them up against that, but every other ones that I've ever tried do not come close to it. Just not even close. The sound quality and padding is really great. You do not get tired of wearing these. I got that question a lot. Do you get tired of wearing them? How long can you wear them? I do not get tired of wearing them. They really don't bother me at all. The pat the padding is really nice on the top and uh, really superb on the side, but just you really don't get tired of wearing them like most other headphones. I really can't wait to uh, go on my next airplane flight to check it on there, but I've been through downtown Long Beach and um, certain streets in LA and I couldn't hear any traffic whatsoever. It's, it's really quite amazing on just how good the noise cancellation is on here. Now, the ultimate question though, is it worth 350? I ultimately feel that Samsung should drop these down to 299. I think 350 is a little bit much for what I typically would normally be willing to spend for headphones even despite this quality. And if I had had to pay at that price, I may have never got my hands on these. So, that being as it may, I would really love to see Samsung price these at 299 and then I could easily recommend them as the best Bluetooth headphones I have ever worn and have ever used. Hopefully this review helped. Please give a like thumbs up down, down below if you did like it. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. This has been RICKY, the Android Guy.